Three, two, one. Happy New Year! Hooray! <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Nothing's worse than the wet kazoo. <laughs> I made it up. My name is Dado. I am the executive producer, director, cinematographer, editor, costume organizer, social media guru, gaffer, whatever that is. You get the idea. Pretty much everything involved with Dad at Home, this guy. Since it's the first of the year, I'd like to give an update to everyone on what's happening with Dad at Home. First off, I'm going over a recap of how Dad at Home got started and what led up to creating this channel. Two, I'm going to let you know how Dad at Home is doing right now, just some numbers. Three, What's going to happen in 2015? What are my goals? What can you expect to see? Finally, number three and a half, four-ish. What can you do as a viewer to support Dad at Home? First off, why did Dad at Home come about? I've had interest in doing a YouTube channel for mm, about a year and a half or so. It wasn't until October where I really dug into it and did some research. It all came down to one video, which you can see right here. It's Retin Link. Those two guys have their own YouTube channel, Good Mythical Morning. You've probably heard of them before. The message of their video came down to this. If you want to do it, try it. If you hate it, th three months from now, it's going to tank. If you love it, you're going to keep doing it. That made a whole lot of sense to me. A whole lot of sense. So I tried it. I taught myself editing, taught myself how to use a camera correctly, taught myself how to direct other people. It's pretty crazy, especially when they're two years or younger. Lighting, everything self-taught and that's what you're seeing right now on this channel there's a few things i learned along the way my very first video which you can see here a father's joy it's a video of old footage i had from my previous digital camera and that was just my practice video my practice in editing there's some stuff on there that looks a little funky very first video that's to be expected on sound many mistakes made in early videos especially in the thanksgiving video you can notice a lot of inconsistencies with the voice I learned a lot about how not to use a microphone. So it was all a learning process. For lighting, especially the Halloween video, you can see, wow, that was a nightmare. I learned how to create lamps. I learned what is the proper way to light a room. How can you shoot in the dark? And don't even get me started on cameras. My first one, terrible, very bad camera. You can see a review of that here. Recently upgraded, making my life a lot easier, especially on the editing side, but hey, this is the stuff that you learn your first three months. Now let's look at the present. What's happening at Dad at Home at this very moment? 50 subscribers, 1700 total channel views, 15 new videos uploaded in the last three months. And of those 15, five of them have achieved 100 views so far. For a very new channel, which basically growing an audience out of friends and family, and now just in the last month going into social media, not too bad, but not even close to what I'm expecting for 2015. If you're not familiar with the social media aspects, we actually have several of them. You can click on them right now. Google+, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So in the last month of December, you probably noticed a lot more activity on my social media sites. At the very beginning, it was just, hmm, let's create a social media site and put content on it. Now it's a little bit more intentional. What I'm doing is going into Twitter and Facebook and learning about Google+. How do I grow that audience? Not just have stuff that I post there, but how do I find the people that would be interested in it? So Twitter has been the biggest success story so far. Just over two to three weeks, I've been going through a Twitter campaign to gain followers, and it's led to almost 2,000 of them. 2,000 followers for two to three weeks of work. Pretty big payoff. Facebook, a little bit harder. I'm going to work on that in 2015, same with Google+, Instagram, Tumblr, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of results there, but I'm going to continue to explore it. So 2015 is here. What's next? Well, obviously more videos. If you haven't noticed already, I post on weekends. I target Saturday night, but typically if you get there sometime Sunday, you're going to see a new post. You've probably seen a few new ideas in the last three months. The ones that I like, I'm going to be making sequels for, and I might continue to make that a series. So stay posted on those. And some of you have been asking, what about the voices? Are you gonna to continue to do character voices and voiceovers? Absolutely, 
I'm having a lot of fun with that. Some of the characters you'll see again in 2015. They might get their own series. Some of them I'll probably phase out, bring out new ones. You'll probably see a few more holiday specific cards going out in 2015. I'm thinking Valentine's Day just to test that out. And if I've continued to get good feedback from that, then you can start seeing that as a regular thing with Dad at Home. It's very common on the first of the year to do New Year's resolutions. So I'm going to twist that a little bit and focus on the channel side here with Dad at Home. Drum roll! In terms of total channel views, I'm targeting 20,000 for the whole year of 2015. On Twitter side, I want to aim for 30,000 followers. Facebook? We're going to target 200 total likes on that page. So there it is. Very ambitious goals for 2015. I'm all in. I'm really hoping you are too. Some of you might be asking, okay, well, these are cool and all. How can I, as a regular viewer, help Dad at Home achieve those goals? I'm glad you asked. First off, just watch the videos. I post them every week, so if you check every Sunday, you're going to be caught up. Beyond that, I'd really appreciate shares, likes, comments. Those feed me, they feed my creativity, so please do all of that. There's a technical reason why liking, subscribing, and commenting helps a YouTube account. The biggest reason is it tells YouTube that you want to continue being engaged with the channel. There's a great video right here that goes into the technical aspects of how views are calculated, how YouTube pursues people who are continuing the view, and how those who don't view consistently tend to drop off the map. I'm really looking forward to 2015. Keep liking, subscribing, and sharing these videos. We're in it together. Now there is one more thing that loyal viewers can do to help me out. See these videos over to my right? Those are for your benefit. If there's one posted there that you haven't looked at yet, click on it. Maybe you'll like it. This is an easy guide on how to explore the Dad at Home channel. So take advantage of it. Until next time, homers. One piece of inspiration for me is this book right here by Robert Rodriguez. Never heard of him? Well, he's very similar to me, and he's very similar to YouTubers everywhere. You start off with a camera, your own creativity, and you make something. One quote that I really like is this. Anyone can learn the technical aspect of filmmaking. Not everyone can learn how to be creative. So it's easier for someone creative to start out with an idea and learn the technical side than to have an expert in the technical side come up with creative ideas. And that's pretty much what inspired me to do this.